trail to Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, last time we met Sharon, we found out the score to our midterms, and now we're off to our next adventure. So let's get to it. And if you guys like this video or this series, then don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. What I would really like is when they go on these trips, we can switch back to group to group just to see how the story is going on both ends. But you only get to hear about it when they get back. And I really want to know what happens to Laura and Feet because they're both in the same group and they're fighting right now. You're ready to depart too, I see. Yeah, we were about to leave. Um, still not time to each other. Hmm. Don't you still need to purchase your tickets? Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. It looks like you've been traveling to get as far as he Heimdall this time. Very well. Let's stop dallying and buy them already. It's like the same person here every time. Where is he? No, nope, there's Laura. Ah, oh, that guy that's usually sitting on the bench is not here. Good morning, Class 7. I hear Group A is heading all the way out to North Highlands this month. You heard right. We'll need to change trains twice, first in Heimdall, then in Royer, right? Correct. From Royer, you'll need to transfer to the front line for the last leg of your journey. Regrettably, we can't handle that part of your trip here. Actually, it seems the rooms have already been settled for that segment. We should only need to buy tickets as far as Royer. Ah, that won't be a problem then. Do you want them right now? I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Serves Banfor, Heimdall, now arriving at Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform. The train has come to a complete stop. Huh? I say we timed that pretty well. <laughs> Impeccable timing. True. Hmm. It seems those are two women cold front blowing your way. Well, don't worry about us. We'll see what we can do to thaw them out. Yeah, just don't expect them to be weaving each other far across when we get back, okay? Alright, we'll have them to you then. Good luck. Man, I get to spend time with the two people that I haven't been able to spend much time with, which is Elliot and Gaius. Oh wait, I'm sorry, just Gaius. Elliot's in the other group. But Elliot's the other person I haven't got to spend much time with. Wow, these sandwiches really hit the spot. Ham, lettuce, and cheese. And I'm getting a hit of pickle in there too. <laughs> the ingredients are simple enough, but the way they come together is something special. Even the butter tastes different from what I'm used to. And this tea is equally perfect. The zest and the lemon complements the taste perfectly. You have quite the maid looking after you. Well, Mother hired her, not me. She's a talented maid though, I won't deny that. She has the typical housework, greeting guests, and as you expect, but she also manages Mother's schedule. Wow. Managing the company chairman. Wait, why is it in? Okay, there we go. It was on turbo mode for some reason. Those two are upset. I just know it. 
But guys, there are definitely perks that hang around. I think you should accept your mother's kindness. I agree. She must have started working before Sunrise repair all this for us. I know, I know. Anyway, look at those two. So we're here to Briar Island this time. All I know is that the, it is that it hosts some sort of ancient ruins. I'm not what to expect. Come and think of it, this will be the first time I had a chance to see the ocean. Where are you two? Hmm, not too much. I've never seen it either. I have. Oh, really? Hmm, during a landing operation, the corpse. Oh, speaking of ruins, the Graham has some fairly well known ruins, doesn't it, Laura? Oh, yeah. The Saint's Castle or something like that. I was referring to Lagrin Castle. It's a magnificent stronghold that faces out onto the lake. You can see it from the town itself. It's quite beautiful on the days when the mist clears. Oh wow! Sounds like a sight worth seeing. Hmm. Seems like you'd be in trouble if a skilled sniper set himself up there. Oh my god, Fee! No, why? <laughs> why, Fee? Doesn't sound like they're getting along very well. Hmm, I feared as much. <sighs> I thought Fee is doing it on purpose. Laura seems uncariously offended by it too. Yeah, she usually so composed, but something about Fee seems to get under her skin. It never ceases to amaze me just how big Heimball Station is. I have never heard it said that it's not merely the largest station in Bernia, but on the entire continent. I'm unaware of another station that can match the ten tracks found here. When I first transferred lines here on the way to Trista, the amount of people I saw really threw me for a loop. But it is surprising that there aren't as many folks around this early in the morning. Sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Hey, hang on, you can't give up already. Hmm, how hopeless. Well, don't worry about it too much. The most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I, I suppose you're right. We'll try to keep things from getting too dangerous at least. <coughs> anyway, this is where we split up. If you're traveling towards Ordis, you'll be heading west, right? Indeed. Meanwhile, Group A will need to travel with us to Ura first. I'm so jealous you get to visit Guy's homeland. You better tell us all about it when you get back. Will do. Take care, everyone. Fee, Laura, you both take care, too. Um, well, see you all next week. Quite. Hmm. Who's that? Who's that? <gasps> Is something on your mind, Elise? <gasps> That's Reen's little sister! Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Ah, she already knew. Please, your highness. Your Highness? She's a princess? Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. You know it's your brother. Possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. 
Someone you recognized? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. Please. <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now. I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> oh my god. So I'll give you some lingerie. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> I swear. Not your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly. Alright, let me tell you a bit about more about the Nor Highlands. The Nor Highlands are a mountainous region in the northwest of Erebonia. To get there, you'll need to cross the Asgard Range. That's the mountain range to the north of Rear. I'm guessing we'll need to pass through quite a few tunnels to get to the other side. Pretty much. I went through several when I was originally transferred to Trista. Anyway, when you reach the other side, you will be in the Nor Highlands, surrounded on every side by mountains. Other than the Imperial Army bases, the only place you'll find people is in the nor the nomadic settlements like the one I'm from. I was like, I was looking at the word like, how do you say this again? If anything, we have more sheep than people. Wow, really? I'm starting to feel like we're traveling to a country locked in time or something. <laughs> it sounds like a scene, but I have a picture book. In addition to the scene, the North Highlands are also well known for their breeding and raising of horses. Most of the war horses used by Imperial Armor are descended from the Highland stock. That's true, horses are central to the livelihoods of the folks in my village. Raising horses to be used by Erebonians is one of my people's primary sources of income. I don't think of it, I seem to remember hearing that the horse we have at home was raised in Nor too. Isn't that also true that the horses in the Iron Club uses? Correct, all of them originally came from Lore. Even the golden stallion of the Empire's element is said to depict a war horse race in the Highlands. Or so the story goes, at least. Nord has deep historical ties in the Empire. We know today that it's where Emperor Jekyll's first started building his army, after all. That's right, the Imperial Army still maintains a base on the southern edge of the Highlands' Zender Gate. That's as far north as the train can take us. I see. We should arrive there somewhere around 4 in the afternoon then. Yeah, but it's just past 8 a.m. now. We should reach Royal Station by midday. At that, we have another 4 or so hours on the freight train to Nord. <sighs> Looks like we're in it for a long haul. Still, we won't get chances like this often. Let's try to make the most of it. Of course, we're about to go ahead and play some Blade. I'm gonna go for Lisa. Let's get started. I suck at this game. Come on, draw a card. Oh, same score? We better draw again. Oh, same score? We better draw again. Looks like I'm going first. Oh, same score? We better draw again. 
Are you serious? Like I'm going first. I'll see him score. We better draw again. I'll see him score. We better draw again. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang. So close. If I used that seven, I probably would have won. God dang it. I cannot. I seriously cannot play this game to save my life. Oh my freaking god. I think I'll be able to take a train ride way better than an airplane ride, no matter how long it is. I think trains are way more spacious than a plane ride. You're just in the, your little seat, just stuck in that sitting position. You can't move, you can't stretch your legs or nothing. Oh my god. But in a train, there's, there's a little more room, as long as it's not super packed. So I, could, I think I could take an eight hour train ride. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This special express line is bound for Rear. Our next stop is Rear, terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all your belongings with you when disembarking the train. <sighs> Here we are. This is my first visit to the Empire's Industrial Metropolis. Actually, it's my first time too. I passed through when I first came to the academy, but even then, I could see why people associate with the industry. It feels like the whole city is one big mass of iron. Yeah, it really does have that vibe. What are those cone-shaped towers out in the distance, anyway? Oh, those are oil generators for the industrial plants. Those are tons of large factories in the city, so they need those to create all the orbital energy needed to power them. Wow, really? If I weren't seeing it for myself, I'd be hard pressed to imagine a city like this. So this city is nothing but factory after factory after factory after factory. There's nothing but factories in this city. Well, we finally made it to Far's Roar. We'll need a transfer to a freight line to reach the North Highlands from here, right? Right, there'll be freight train leaving the platform 4 that we need to board. Platform 4 is up the staircase to the left, I think. Alright, let's not waste any time then. Let's explore the train station, if we can. It's already past noon. Perhaps we should purchase some lunch for the rest of our journey. Sounds like a plan. We still have another four hours to go. We're going to need to eat something between now and dinner. It seems highly likely a freight train will be equipped with fending machines or other such kind of trucks either. We'll need to go through the ticket gate then. There's a shop in the main part of the station that sells pre packed oh, lunches. There won't be any need for that. Are you serious? This woman followed us. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Sharon? How'd you get here before me? Huh. 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 How did you get here before us? Ah, uh, the power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible, my lady. Oh my god, how did you get it before us with the power of love? Anything is possible. Even me having the powers of Sonic and somehow teleportation to get here before you so I can see the look on your face. And as you'll see, I've prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offerings. I do hope you'll enjoy them. Um, thanks. We 
really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us. True. That said, I'm really curious how you got here before us. It seems that the Reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer. I imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital? Ah. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? You can cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. <laughs> you got me. I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. They're quite fresh, so take a moment to savor the taste. <laughs> well, thank you. We really do appreciate all you're doing for us. Man, this woman never misses, never misses a beat. Honestly, I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the Nord Highlands with us now, are you? I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business I must attend to. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. Uh-oh, is this who I think it is? <gasps> mom, mom, mom. Is that... Is that Mother Dearest? Mother? Yep. Hello, it's Mama. Lisa. Ah, you all must be members of Class 7. I'm Elisa's mother, Irina, also the chairman of the Reinford Group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. Pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alvarea. A pleasure. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. What? S seriously You show up like this and that's all you have to say? It's always work with you, isn't it? You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just, hello, Elisa, and that's it? My lady. I did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. It seems there's a lot of friction between them. You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. Dang, she's cool as a cucumber. She's like, yeah, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to stop you. Go live your life. But don't come crying to me if you don't like it. He's like, if you don't want to take on the family business, you don't want to take on the family business. So, okay, bye. <laughs> Dang. Your mom's cool. <laughs> you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility. It's your choice to make. Ooh, is she talking about the dad that we have yet to meet? If we're ever going to meet this guy? Besides, I still manage to keep myself informed of the general goings-on in your academic life in the monthly reports I receive from the Academy. What? I knew Sharon would relay back information about me, but reports from the Academy itself? Oh, you must not have known. In addition to my other responsibilities. Let me guess. You're also a convenient director of the Academy. I also sit on the Academy's board of directors. I knew it. I freaking knew it. <gasps> oh my. That means... Just like Rufus. It does appear that way. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Hmm. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage of both. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading, won't you? <laughs> Please excuse us, my lady. Take care during the rest of your journey. Elisa, 
I think this was her, I think she's going through rebellious stage and this was her way of sticking it to her mom, but her mom was so prepared for it that she was sticking it to her without her even knowing that, that she was sticking it to her. So now she's upset. You all right? Man, I like her mom. She's cute. She's cool as a cucumber. You know, just, she just threw those knives of shade just at her. Just so calmly. We're just like, ah, dang. I thought I finally had her out of my hair. But it looks like she was the one step ahead of me this whole time. Um, I, I take it you and your mother are on good terms then. Yeah, I think that much was absolutely clear. Things have been broken between us for a long time now. Once I left home, that was the first that I led to meet in Roman Academy. But how was I supposed to know I'd gone and signed up for the school she sits on the board of directors of? How could I have been so stupid? Why didn't I conduct a more thorough investigation before I made my choice? I, I don't know what to say. You have our sympathies, I suppose. Is your mother being on the board directors really such a problem? Um, well, it's complicated. Usually she seems like she's only interested in her work, but then she'll suddenly start meddling in my life. She says to do just do what I want, but it always turns out that whatever I go, she's there ahead of me, just like today. And I should have known something was up. The bank account my grandfather gave me to cover my academy expenses hasn't taken a tip since my first day at Thor's. So your mother's been paying your bills the whole time. It does seem like a strong possibility, especially considering her presence on the board of directors. Hmm, I can't see what you're grousing about. Most people would be grateful to have a parent display that much interest. Exactly! Like, you're complaining about something that many kids would be grateful that their parents are paying for their bills and not really expecting anything out of you. Like, I want nothing out of you. you just live your life. I'll, I'll take care of everything. I'll take care of your bills, your allowance, the food, taking care of you. I, like, don't worry about it. Just go out and live your life. That's all I ask for. And it's just like, that. It, from an outsider's point of view, that sounds very ungrateful. People would cut an arm and leg off to have that kind of lifestyle. What? At least your mother spent the time to come and greet us. At least she showed the slightest trace of interest in you and your class. Ooh, that's right. Other than his brother, his father wanted nothing to do with him. With nothing to do with him at all. Even used him in a political political war. And her and his mother is dead. And it's just like, ah, you can just feel how slightly pissed off he is that she's acting like this from, from a parent who actually gives two fucks about her. Oh. Useless. Hm, forget it. He's like, at least your parents care. At least your parents are interested enough in your freaking life to pay off everything. Ooh, Useless is feeling a little salty. Well, we just entered a tunnel. The first of many, now that we're going through the mountains. I see. Anyway, how about we dig into those lunches she made for us? That sounds good to me. It seems like she went out of her way to prepare them. Alright. If these are subpar because she had to make do with the airship's kitchen, I'm gonna let her hear the end of it. Ha! Huh. Well then, let's dig in. Wow, we're going to the Highlands for an academy field study? Sounds like you budding soldiers do some pretty interesting things as part of your training these days. Huh, I suppose you could say that. Thor seems quite different from most other military cats in that regard, though. Still, it feels pretty neat to see you all dressed up in your uniforms. They look pretty sharp on you. Thanks for the photo of confidence. In the academy, guys always stands out because of his height. Yeah, he towers over even the second years. Are all the people in your son of similar height? Nah, I see my dad is the only one who really has height on me. My younger brother is fairly short though. 
I wouldn't doubt he has another growth spurt coming his way. I seem to remember you mentioning you have quite a few siblings. Younger brother and two younger sisters to be exact. They're a little on the shy side, but I hope you'll get along with them. Hehe, <laughs> can do. Still, if you look through the window, it really feels like we're getting close to the Highlands now. Indeed. Man, seeing you kids rush off on some adventure kind of makes me jealous. Anyway, we're about halfway through the Iron's Garden range now. We should reach Zender Gate in two hours or so, so take this time to relax. Thank you. We appreciate the info. Wow, the conductor himself actually came out to let us know. Service. Did you meet him back in the spring when you were on your way to Trista? Yeah. Made the same trip back then, too. We had plenty of time to kill, so he taught me a lot about Iberian culture. Hehe, <laughs> sounds like a pretty nice guy. I'll bet he served as a pretty useful primary. It did. There are a lot of people I'm thankful for helping me come this far. And most of all, I'm thankful to the winds and to the goddess. The winds and the goddess? Ah, oh, classic guys. <laughs> Uses is like, the winds and the goddess. He's like, okay. Looks like we ought to be coming out of the last tunnel anytime soon now. I see. Well, it's like useless. We're almost there. Ah. Hmm. And it's on fire. Nope. Nope. Not on fire. I don't know if they like flashed it full of light. It just kind of like. <sighs> I thought I'm about to see something horrible. So this is. I can only make it out in the distance, but it. Looks like that's it! So that's the North Highlands. I'll admit, it appears even more breathtaking than I expected. I'll be even more happy to hear you say so once we've seen up close. Who's this? Okay, new face. It's a pleasure to see you again, Lieutenant General. Like, likewise, I months since I last saw you. It seems almost surreal to see you standing there in the military carrying uniform. Though this is the first time I've seen the doors assembled in red. This is the color they use for my class, Class 7. Yeah, it looks like he's pretty much high up in the Imperial Army. Yeah, I'm betting he's the Lieutenant General in charge of the Zender Gate. Seems quite close to Gaius. A pro general with an eye patch. That seems familiar somehow. These must be your classmates. Indeed, these are about half of my classes from class 7. I'm Miss Worcester. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, let's start Rainford, sir. I'm Emma Malstein, sir. Eustace Alberta is an honor. Uh -huh. Seems your classmates are an interesting bunch as I've heard. I am Zist Vander, Commander Officer of the Pro Army's 3rd Armored Division. Pleased to finally meet you. When I Zest. So you're one of the Guardians of the Honor Family. Oh, it seems some of you already know of me. A Guardian of the Honor Family? Ah, now I remember. The Vanders are a celebrated military family responsible for protection of the Imperial Family. And one eyed Zest Vander is said to be one of the Imperial Army's finest generals. They say the Vander and the Iris schools of swordsmanship are the two most renowned styles in Erebonia. It's truly honored to meet you, sir. Ah, I am just a military man, hard to to quite that level of praise. I love to hear about all of you and your excursion into the Highlands, but unfortunately, we don't have the time. We should set out as soon as possible if you want to reach the Selm by nightfall. I agree. We are about to take care of all the arrangements. I did, rest assured. What arrangements? We need to head out now if we want to reach Gaia's home by sundown, right? Right, which is why I asked the lieutenant Jerome to bring some transportation for us. <laughs> Alright, just follow me and I'll show you the way. Are we traveling by airship? By horse? By armored tank?
Wow, it is really pretty out here. Yeah, it lands so beautifully at the far end of the railway. Honestly, I suppose words are woefully insufficient to face this majesty. Hmm, glad to hear you think so. I knew it! So we are traveling by horse. One of my guesses was right. Horses, are you saying... Were to travel to send my own horseback? The highlands are way too vast to cover in any reasonable length of time on foot. You'll be fine. You're a member of the riding club, and Reed and Alyssa both have riding experience, right? Yeah, I think I can manage. I learned back at home, so I should be okay as long as we aren't making any trip jumps or anything. Hmm, I'm afraid I've never ridden a horse before. Not a problem. You can just hit your ride on the back of someone else's horse. At least, uh, we're probably the best choice considering the balance of weight. I can do that. Is that right with you, Emma? Yes, although I do feel a little nervous. Let's smell it once then. Okay, stay now, steady. This is a fine horse. Are you alright back there, Emma? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Make sure to hold on tight when we start moving. <laughs> this should be a fun trip. They're all top quality horses raised in the highlands. At a good clip, you should be able to reach the settlement in under an hour. Before I forget, I'm sure guys won't have much need of this, but the rest of you should take the map of the highlands. A map? Thank you for that, we definitely would need that. Wow! Such high level of detail. It looks as though the army sur surveying expertise is being put to good use. Indeed. I hope it will prove useful during your field study. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, that's about it for me. You should be heading out. May the blessing of the winds and the gods be with you. Give my regards to the elder Lucking. We will. Thank you for seeing us off, sir. If you'll excuse us, then. And we ride off into the sunset. This is worlds apart from the bustle of the city. It really is. I feel like I'm one with the wind. Indeed. But if you didn't go too fast, that would be great. <laughs> I'm sure it would be natural in time. No doubt the riding club would be fuming with envy if they could see us now. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. Hopefully, we'll be able to reach it before sundown. Right. Let's move! Horseback riding controls are largely the same as those for regular movement. Use the left stick to move and dash by pressing R1. Oh, that's pretty simple. But we're going to have to wait until the next video to go ahead and ride off into this beautiful, beautiful place, into this beautiful sunset that you see before us. And we're going to see what's happening at the summit whenever we get there. But we'll have to wait until the next video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. Bye. See you later.